welcome to finding the area of an irregular polygon. We are given a polygon that is neither a rectangle nor a triangle. Now if they were, we'd be able to find the area very simply. So the area of a rectangle is length times width equals area. And the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2 equals area. Now we're going to need both of these formulas in order to figure out how to calculate the area of this polygon. So as we can see, it's not a rectangle nor a triangle. So step one is to make this polygon into a rectangle and a triangle. Now we could connect this line right over here on the polygon, and we will divide this into a rectangle and a triangle. Now we could start calculating the area of this object. All we have to do is just separate it out. So step one is always to separate your irregular polygon into a right triangle and a re rectangle. And if there's more than one, just keep separating it until you have all the triangles and rectangles that you need. All right, so now we need to figure out the area of the rectangle. So in order to figure out the area of the rectangle, we need to do length times width. Now we have a number of options that we need to pick over here. We have 15 meters, we have 9 meters, we have 8 meters, and 12 meters. Now which one is the true length and width of the rectangle? We know that the rectangle's true width goes from this point to this point at the top. So we're going to be using the 9 meters because the 12 meters goes all the way past the end of the rectangle and goes to the end of the triangle. So we know that this part of the triangle includes the 12 meters, so that's not going to be good for us. Okay? So we know that we need to use the 9 meters of the rectangle. The next part is do we use the 8 meters or the 15 meters? And once again, it's, again, it's the same sort of predicament. We have the top over here of the rectangle and the bottom here, which will measure 8 meters. This is not the full rectangle. We have to use the 15 meters because we go from the top to the bottom. So our length and width is going to be measuring 15 meters down here and our 9 meters up top. So that's what it's going to be. So we can now calculate the area of this rectangle. And since we know it's length times width, we will write 15 as our length times 9. And we're going to calculate that out. So this is going to find the area of the rectangle. So 5 times 9 is 45. 9 times 1 is 9. Plus five, 4, and you have 13. So you have 135 meters squared. So we've only right now just figured out the area of the rectangle. All right. Now what's left is the triangle, since we have to calculate the whole entire irregular polygon together. So how are we going to figure out the triangle? We need to first figure out the height and the width of the triangle. So right over here, we know from end to end, it's 12 meters. However, we need to figure out this part down over here, from there to there. So since we know that at the top it is 9 meters and at the bottom it's 12 meters, we could actually subtract the 12 meters by 9 meters to find the remainder of the triangle. So we will go 12 So over here, the distance of this triangle is going to be 3 meters, and that is the remainder of the 9 meters on top and the 12 meters. Now we need to figure out the height of the triangle, and we only use the, the square part of the triangle. So our height is going to be from there to there on the triangle. All right, now how do we figure this out? Again, we're going to be using the opposite. So we have our 8 meters 
over here, which we know goes from there to there. And we could use the opposite side, the 15 meters, because we will be finding the difference between the 8 meters and the distance that we need to find. So we could go 15 minus 8. So here we go, 15 minus 8. And we could find that the remaining height of the triangle is going to be 7 meters. Right? So this side of the triangle is 7 meters. Now we have our base and our height of the triangle. So what's the formula? It's base times height divided by 2. So to find the area of the triangle, we would go 7 times 3 first, and then we have to div divide it by 2. 7 times 3 is 21. Now we have to do 21 divided by 2. 21 divided by 2. Put a decimal point, or zero, and we go to two into ten, which is five, and we could see that it is ten point five meters squared. Now we're not done yet. One last thing to do, since it's the rectangle and the triangle together that we're trying to figure out, now we have to add our rectangle and triangle together, the meters squared. So we have 135 meters squared plus 10.5 meters squared. And this is going to give us the answer of meters squared at the end. 5 plus 0 is 5. Here, 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 4. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So we get a final answer of 145.5 meters square, which will give us the entire area of this irregular object.